What's good, what's good? Back with a new video. Got me a little Chinese right here, so excuse me, you feel me? Just leaving the gym. Um, so I decided to stop and get me some Chinese food, man. I'm trying to get my weight up. Right now I'm wearing 182. I'm trying to get to 205, man. Straight muscle, you know what I'm saying? Grinding in the gym every day. Y'all know how we do it. <clears throat> but I got a very important video for y'all today, man. A lot of y'all seem to not understand that I have failed with women. I have failed horrible with women. Um, I have two baby mothers. One passed away, uh, rest her soul. One still here. <clears throat> I have no contact with her. So basically, you can say I have no contact with either of my baby mothers. You know, because like I said, one passed and one, we don't talk at all. I never met my daughter. Um, <clears throat> we have no communication uh, whatsoever. I pay child support. Uh, I know a lot of people say, um, you know, why are you paying child support when, you know, you never met her and it don't look like you're going to be able to meet her without court. You know, I do plan on going to court real soon. Uh, I do plan on filing for, cust you know, uh, joint custody. Uh, so with that being said, I have failed with women. Now, I know a lot of y'all might be like, oh, they cheated, they did this and that, or what you did. I wasn't a man. It's just that simple. The reason I failed with both of my baby mothers, because I was a kid. I was a boy. Oh, nah, and I'm not saying that because, yeah, I was talking to other women and I was doing this and that. I'm saying it because I wasn't handling business. The main thing that, that failed within my relationships, that I only had, I'm 27, I only had three Serious relationship. Three. All three of those failed because of me. I was a I was a young kid, bro. You know, and uh and I, I had no idea what it take to be a man. I thought I knew what it took what it took to be a man, but in reality I was living off of them. And once again I told y'all, this is what I thought as a man we do. I thought we live off women, we have them to spoil us, spoil us take care of us, you know, and that's what we doing. We big balling, we big pimping. But when I realized, you know, a couple, a couple, about, about, about eight months ago, and when I grew to become a man, I just became a man at 27. It took me 27 years to become a man. Now I'm a man, I'm an independent man. I'm a strong, uh, ambitious man. I'm a leader, I'm a king, you feel me? Um, I, I give orders. I don't really, I, I only, it's not very often that I take orders, you know, but I'm willing to work with someone. I'm willing to compromise. See, back then, I wasn't willing to do none of that. It's what I say 100% of the time. Of course, I'm still dominant, but see, I didn't even have a dominance about myself. You know, yeah, I, I can feel like, man, I need this done, and woo -woo, but I didn't enforce it. See, as a man, you have to enforce things. You have to be dominant. You have to be strong. You have to be a leader. If you're not the leader in your relationship, your woman will take that role. And when she take that role, that would be the worst mistake that she have made in that relationship and that you have basically let her make. You let her make that because you didn't take it. A, a woman tend to take on the responsibility of the man when he lacks it. When he lacks the, the, the grind, a woman will take on that role. When he lacks the hustle and all that, the ambition, the woman will soon follow suit and take that role and take that responsibility to feel like she need to provide for the family. So a lot of us dudes, we failing in our relationships or friendship or partnerships because we simply not being in charge. We simply letting this woman run the show which she don't want to. Don't get it twisted, guys. No woman want to be in charge. No woman wanna run the house. She only does it because you lack the skills to do so. She don't wanna have to tell you to go to work. She don't wanna have to ask you, you know, can you do this? You should know to do that. That make her pussy wet. When you handle your responsibility as a man, it do something to your woman, bro. She appreciate that, she validate that, she love that, she respects you. Now she have a reason to fix your food, to cook for you when you go to work, to want to wanna serve you, to want to have your water ready, ran when you enter the door, to want to suck your dick on sight. 
Make sure she got a hot towel to wipe that motherfucker off. See, when a woman respect you, she do certain things that shows that she invites you out for dinner. It ain't always you invite her out. She make arrangements. You know, she willing to spend her money on you. Not just you spend your money on her. But when a woman don't respect you, she going to misuse you and mistreat you, manipulate you. See, I know y'all watch the videos and y'all hear me saying all this shit. But at the same time, you got to understand, you got to be on your shit so that she don't manipulate you. Because a woman don't have time to manipulate a man that's on his ground. You know why? Because you ain't got time to sit there and get manipulated. See, I work seven days a week. I don't have time to listen to no motherfucking what you doing, how you doing, who that bitch you fucking, who that bitch you talking to. Because, see, every woman I deal with, which is only two, I only deal with two women at the moment, they know where I'm at at all times. Not because they calling and texting me and asking me, because they know my schedule. They know my routine. They know I'm hungry. They know either I'm at the gym. If I'm not at the gym, I'm at work. If I'm not at work, I'm with my daughter. They know. And sometimes, occasionally, I step out. Now, a lot of people see me by myself all the time. And they say, bro, how can it be possible that you can't have no women, bro? You can't have no woman. You always by yourself. Because I enjoy myself. I love myself. I don't mind spending time by myself. You know what you can do when you by yourself? You can work on you. You can become a man. A strong man. A leader. A king. Somebody that women will respect. They won't have time to shit test you. They won't have time to, to contradict you and, 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 to, and to belittle you and to say you do, you ain't doing shit you won't. No, because they know that, that dude I fuck with, oh, he'll get it. He go get it. He handle business. See, a woman not going to respect you if you're not handling business. It's just that simple. You can look good all you want to, but at the end of the day, you just going to be that dude. Yeah he, yeah, he got a good dick, but... I can't really get in a relationship with him because he not doing shit. He broke. Guys, women will fuck you just to fuck you. But as soon as you say, let's take it to the next level. No, why would the fuck would I want to take it to the next level with you? You ain't doing shit. You have nothing to offer. You have no leadership skill. You don't know how to control or run a family. You don't know how to say, yo, I ain't no. You always yes. See, a woman don't mind you saying no if it's valid. She will respect that. But you just saying no, you know, and you won't have, you, you, you ain't running shit. You ain't doing shit. You ain't grinding. But I want to buy this new purse. No, nah, you know, I think we need to wait on that. I think you need, we need to, maybe we can get that next week. You know what I'm saying? It's okay then. Because she understand y'all working on it more important goals. But you always, yeah, I think you can get that. She just going to keep doing it and run over you and manipulate you because she realize you weak. You weak to her. Your woman don't want you to be weak to her. When she get emotional, she needs you to stay strong. She don't need you to be crying with her. That's not your job, bro. So I failed in my relationship because I wasn't a man. I was weak. I was a kid. I have no knowledge of leadership. I had no knowledge of what it looked like to be in charge of a household. So what that did, that made the women look at me as in I'm a good sex object, but I'm not a good boyfriend of, uh, you know, material. I'm not the dude that, you know, yeah, they stayed with me and it was, it was always me that left. But at the end of the day, they were, they, they probably in the end was happy that I left because I wasn't a man with value. You know what I'm saying? All the thing I could offer was dick. And once again, they would take that, but at the same time, it's like, they not happy, bro. They just dare because they have built a uh, connection with you. Once a person, guys, a lot of y'all are in a situation only because the connection been there so long. That your partner don't want you, but she been with you for so long, she don't know how to move on. That is a serious thing. It's called parabon. Women are with some of you guys simply because y'all been together for over six months. But once you go away for a little time, she can easily get over you because you have no value from the start. You understand what I'm saying? So don't just take my videos and be like, oh, women saying shit. No, a lot of you niggas saying shit. 
You ain't shit, so therefore it's easy to control and manipulate you and run over you and disrespect you and go cheat on you. See, when I say a woman a cheat, yes, yeah, she'll cheat if the man not worth shit, but if that man on his shit, it'll be real hard for her to cheat. She might look at other niggas and be like, ooh, the motherfucking handsome, ooh, I like him, but she won't fuck up because she know what she got at home. So don't get my message misconfused that thinking every woman is a skank or do this and woo woo woo. No, some women, women's gonna find men's attractive all day, every day. Just like I'm gonna always find women's attractive. I don't care who I'm with. I love seeing beautiful women. I might not, I might not fuck with them, but I love seeing them. Women's gonna see dudes that they like, but if they got some good at home that is valuable and they don't want to lose it, they ain't gonna fuck up. Believe me, I know. They can, motherfucker can text them all day. They can talk to them all day. Woo, do it. They probably won't even get that. Bruh. Soon that motherfucker trying to make a move. Man, you know what? Who do What's up? Uh-uh. Nah, I ain't leaving home. You got me fucked up. I ain't cheating. No, no. It's some women's really will put their foot down. Because they know the value that they have in the man that they have at the house. And they know you, you just going to be good dick. But yet, she still would cheat for that good dick. But... A lot of women's, bro, like I said, if you have value and you a man and you in control of your shit and you handle your responsibility, you don't need her, but you will take her. You, you see, listen to you don't need her, but you will take her. See, that's value right there. You can handle all your shit on your own. She an added bonus to your life. See, women's find that value. Women's are born to follow. They not born to lead. So you need to step your shit up before you try to blame all these women. Once again, understand, I tell y'all my life story. And I know women, uh, they love, they promiscuous. If I'm saying that word correctly, you know, I'm working on my vocabulary and my, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm improving. I'm working on my lingo. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, get on your shit before you try to call the next motherfucker out. You understand? Work on yourself. Make sure you a man when you try to approach a woman. Make sure you ain't no little bitch. Uh, uh, I was wondering, can I take you out? No, excuse me. How you doing? You having a great night? Are you single? Okay. I would like to take you out, you know, if that's possible. You know, if not, it's okay. Okay, sure. Um, so, um, thinking 7 o'clock, meet me here. Woo -woo -woo. Um, don't be late. <laughs> you have a good night. Simple. Ain't no motherfucking scared and nervous. Ain't no sweating. You say what you need to say and you be firm. That's a man. Come on, let's get it. Let's be men. Good teamwork. What? Oh. Good teamwork. I'm fading. He <laughs> said you're a dog. Oh, hold on. Hey, okay, we only need two points. Oh, that's game. There it is. Good teamwork, fellas. Let's go. I said you're a dog and nobody was ready. I'm standing at the three point. I can't Yo. <laughs> Damn, no one I can't fade. Oh, man. Nah, let's go, man. He said you don't need to be a fader. I definitely got to be, man. Nah, how long? I was a fader last year. Oh, what up, 2K23? I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. I was a fader, but I, but one time in my life I was a fader, and I think that was 2K23 when I was fading. Yeah, I was a fader, dog. From the three, from the two, I had it in my bag. I ain't never been a fader in 2K, never. But that shit coming handy though. I ain't gonna cap. We looking good right though. Looking like, looking like, you know what I'm saying? Couple more weeks, man. <laughs> you know? I say about two more weeks. You was the fader in 2K22. I, I say about two more weeks. Yeah, nine. What's up? You know, this is only happening because I, I follow you back and I said, fuck it, let me just hear the air real quick. Nah, hey, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, that's why I said, it's man. Uh, you know. Hey, it's, it's, it's all love. Man. I'm like, well, I'm still one of the people. I'm like, fuck it.
most definitely.